Hey, good morning. Hope you are all doing well. Hope you have had a fantastic trading week. Uh, I want to show you guys where I absolutely murdered <laughs> the NASDAQ last night. Hopefully, you guys have caught some of this phenomenal run up um, today and last night. But last night is where I absolutely killed it. I made $2,305 in one account last night. Uh, it put that account over the the, the drawdown threshold. Uh, I made more than what I should have in a day, but when it's there, you got to take it, right? And I I uh, so this is last night at the that the Asian or is actually before the Asian open. This was it right at the after hours market open. Okay, so five o'clock hits. Uh, I get in right here, and then I catch scalps on this whole move up. It pulls back. I enter. I hold. I hold through drawdown. Right. I am down like a thousand bucks right here, and then I add to it, and I put both targets back up here at the high. And bingo, bango, she went right through it. <laughs> and uh. Yeah, so that's another, that is uh, account number five that is past the drawdown limit now. That is awesome. So now the pressure is off of me. All I have to do is hit the goal in each day, uh, and then I will be able to request a withdrawal uh, the next period, which would be the 1st through the 5th of February. But man, the, the the Nasdaq has done nothing but be on a tear. It has ripped every short's face off since last night because everybody kept doing the same thing, right? And I don't blame them. If I if I, I would have been doing the same thing too had I had I not realized what was going on, and that was it got caught in a short squeeze. So every time it tried to pull back, all the shorts are trying to you know get in cover and then bam off it went bam off it went <laughs> all the way up and then the same thing this morning right same thing this morning um anyway that is uh that is where i made a a chunk of of cheese today okay so to finish off my friday uh, we ended up with 52.69. I hit the goal in my accounts. There's that big trade. It's actually a few big trades. Um, that is actually six trades. See, it's 30, con 30 trades, but there's five uh, contracts in each one of those trades. So there's six trades, 23.05, and then uh, another 1,080 on that account that I just started two days ago. Um, and that is a green week. That is, that is a phenomenal week for me. Uh, that's a great day for me. Um, so I am wildly successful in my little scalp routine that I have. Um, what I cannot do is do what I did last week, and that is try to put in a swing trade overnight. Because if I would have done a swing trade overnight, and say I was going to, say I got hung in this short, this is actually what happened to those other two accounts. That's another thing, and I, I don't know if I already said this or not, but building those accounts up to where they were like $7,500 and $8,000 in each one of those, I had this sense of like invulnerability. Like, I am invincible. I can take on the world now. I own this market. <laughs> uh, that might be a little a little brash, but that's actually kind of how I felt a little bit. Like, like I'm so far away from blowing those accounts that it's like, oh, okay, well, I can just leave these out. There's no way it's going to retrace $8,000 overnight. Yeah, well, a move like this happened, and that it totally will wipe you out. And that's what happened to me. Last. That's what I did to myself last week, right? So say you went short right here, you got hung in it, and you're just like, oh, I'll just wake up in the morning and, and take it out. Shoot. 
Where are you take it out, bro? <laughs> anyway, so no more of that for me. No more overnight swings. Um, I just need to stick to my method, stick to what I'm doing, and uh, and I will be good to go. I don't feel the need to trade this anymore today. I have a feeling I could sit here and, and make... Well, anyway, I could sit here and lose it all, is what I am trying to say. Uh, and I don't want to do that. I've had an awesome week. I've had an awesome Friday, and I am done for the day. Um, that being said, I hope you guys have a rest, great rest of the trading day, and I will catch up with you on Monday. Take care.